of time. We have, in the last four years, elected more than half of the House of Representatives. New, new people to the House of Representatives. And some of those folks are truly excited because they've never dealt with something as, things that are serious, but not serious in terms of work. So I, that's, I, so I can't tell you where my colleagues are either. But that's kind of the, this is the, some of the bookends of what I'm thinking. And again, today is an opportunity to provide you some more of your thoughts about that. <laughs> so, sir, in the yellow. Um, how much of an influence for you, I don't know if I can speak to the context, sure. but how much of an influence to your decision is the fact that our, many of our allies have joined, or don't seem to be joining us today, number one? And number two, the UN doesn't seem to be in for both speeches. Yeah, uh, the UN is not in both speeches, in no speeches, um, mm -hmm. frankly, right now. Uh, but uh, I, I don't think that as a general rule, the United States or frankly any other country should rely solely on what the UN does uh, in order to provide that individual country the authority to take a military action. That's the general rule. <laughs> the U.S. should preserve its own right to the military. Uh, we're not the military of the U.S. We're not the military of the U.S. Uh, so, so generally, you can't rely on that all the time. It is important, I think, that we try to uh, we try to gain allies for any action in Syria, including diplomatic action, including humanitarian action. The same rules apply whether you're um, doing diplomatic versus a military action. You should try to not do things alone. You should try. But again, that's in a bit of sarcasm. Yeah, I'll, no, no, really, I'll, 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 kind of I'll let it play out. A little, and then you can see a little weird as hell. I mean, here we are. I'm hearing that Israel is the one that provided some evidence that they heard transmission. And then I'm also thinking back when I was nine years old, hearing about the liberty getting torpedoed by Israel and some kind of false flag when I was a little kid. I never seen it. Then I'm thinking, we're going to take their word for it. I mean, you know, with, with, with that evidence as far as paper, I mean, there's lots of paper that can be fraud. I mean, there's all kinds of things that we right now. I mean, it's one story here, another story there. What story are you going to believe? <laughs> Believe me, I know there's plenty of things that aren't true on the internet. I get people oh, to Some of them are about me. Um, so, I, I fully understand that. Um, I, uh, I certainly will look at the sources of the intelligence, um, and uh, especially at the sources of intelligence for the U.S. Intel report. Uh, my understanding currently, without actually looking at the classified material, uh, and I couldn't tell you much if I could, if, even if I had by now, yeah. my understanding is largely based on uh, interviews on the ground uh, with uh, uh, hospital staff, doctors, nurses, uh, victims, uh, and then well, and, then, and then there's a lot of stuff you can read in the paper, too. Who's collecting the other? I can't really I mean, no, no. Yeah, at, some, I at some point, as a, as a constitutional elected official who's made, who's made an oath not to the Constitution, but we have to, you know, plan a few other documents, too, there's something that I can't tell you. And, and, and you're either going to trust me on that or not, and I can't help you one way or the other. To trust me on that or not, I have to say that I'm telling you this Syria would, uh, an incursion in Syria would cost, 
and uh, the following cost per interest. I don't know. And that's a great question that I'll be asking. Well, the first question uh, about the uh, uh, cost of war, could we have done something else with that? Yeah, not spend it at all on anything and run a deficit. I'm, I'm not. I'm not one. I'm not the guy who says, "Oh, all the money we spent in Iraq and Afghanistan, we should have done that in education in, in the U.S." Because all that was deficit finance. I'd rather have seen us be able, uh, uh, Afghanistan I voted for. Um, and in my view, I think history will show that going into Iraq distracted the U.S. from the stronger, long, uh, stronger media efforts that we needed to do in Afghanistan to get to the point faster than what we got. Now. Um, the, uh, the third point, the third question? Oh, go ahead. Well, I'll, I know what I read in the paper. I've seen it and I know what I read in the four page unclassified report. And Bill, I'm going to put the four page unclassified report on my Facebook site. So if you want to go to my Facebook site.com, ask us reference Larson, we'll post the four page unclassified. You can read that. And you can also look at any of the video that I've seen that's been on the news uh, of the scenes in the hospital uh, around Damascus, uh, people's skin uh, peeling off because of the... Sure, I, there's no doubt that it's so, so it is, that, And that's my point. That's the only point I have made. No, what I think I heard you say was that it, that the weapons that those munitions belonged to the Russian and that it was his order or the order of the Syrian government to yeah. release them. Which are you suggesting there's no the rebel groups are so the one that's so factional there's not one where we'll second right. they don't have the, they don't have the means to deliver a chemical as accurately as they were they just don't no not accurately so there, so there is this a this is a very accurate this is a very accurate this is a very specific <coughs> targeted sub suburb in Damascus this is unclassified in Damascus that um, Assad couldn't control <coughs> This is this is this was exactly the place that the Syrian government needed to go to in Damascus if you know, they determined they needed to go to um, in order to try to um, uh, get at rebels and areas in Damascus and, and people in Damascus who didn't support the Assad. So it's like one on one is yeah it's just, it's just like one on one on one equals three on one. Um, well, will yeah. you be following the will of the constituents in your district uh, with, on your poll? And will you be publishing the results of your poll? Uh, I'm not taking a poll. I'm asking people to email me and let me know the topic. That's, okay. that's what I'm doing. Uh, doing, a, doing an online poll from a member of Congress's office, it's, 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 uh, uh, it is not an accurate tool. Okay. So it's, not, it's not a random sample or anything like that. My guess is if I ran. I wouldn't. I wouldn't guess. I would guess most most of the folks in my district right now wouldn't support uh, any military strike if it was worded that way. Mm -hmm. Polling nationally changes. It's still a negative. It's still, but it changes if you say um, we just support a military strike if it was to punish Syria for using chemical weapons. Um, so that you, when you word it differently, people change their their, their view. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's kind of hard to you know just to say uh, should I or shouldn't I, and it's kind of hard to say without sort of knowing what the resolution says as well um, to to kind of make a decision, as well as not having all the information, which right now I don't. Uh, with regards to the will of the pope, will of uh, the uh, listening to posts. Um, it's one thing I take into account. It's always, it's always, and it's always a major thing I take into account. Uh, there's lots of time in the future to, uh, you don't have to act right now. And uh, uh, perhaps national leaders could get together and, uh, and uh, just simply take the chemical weapons away from the thought. And, and let him go on living. That would be one way of dealing with it. And I haven't heard anybody anywhere in the news talk about the hate. Uh, and, if, uh, and if he's a criminal, then, then uh, that, uh, uh, they have to deal with uh, two that before we start throwing missiles and bombs. 
Well, first off, on that, on that last point, uh, we can't get on legislation, uh, can't introduce it and then sign on to it until, unless we're actually in session. And uh, next week, uh, I do know this, that I'm getting on a, a resolution, uh, I think Eric Paulson, the Republican from Minnesota, is the prime sponsor to designate uh, a work on the use of uh, chemical weapons. Um, the other thing, the other thing that, that, that other important point that you can sort of bring up, and I'll move on to the next question. Uh, Secretary Kerry made this point about you know, folks saying, "Well, Russia won't do this, and Russia won't do that." There's a lot of things Russia won't do, and uh, but but the goal, uh, the goal the U.S. has, the goal that Russia has, the goal the U.N. has in Syria is actually it is a negotiated political solution. <coughs> Everybody is still working toward that same goal, and uh, I think that's, that's important for for uh, members of Congress to keep in mind as well as we consider uh, consider what we might do in the next couple of weeks. The vote may not be next. Um, my name is Kristen Cook. I'm from Marysville, Washington. Um, I'm really concerned about Syria, so I'm bringing the conversation back there again. I appreciate that. Um, that you part of what you factor in is what your constituents are saying. I and many, many people that I've talked to don't think we have a, there's no purpose to be served by our going in there and backing one side or the other. There's no doubt that it's terrible what's happening, but whether or not we should enter into another expensive conflict where we're not sure who it is that we're backing is a major concern of mine. And the reason I raised my hand, I just wanted to say that. Um, but also, we went to um, Edmonds Farmer's Market last weekend and got um, seven pages of people over the course of a couple hours that feel the same way. And actually now it's kind of wandering around. So we faxed seven pages of that to your office, so it is there when you get back or whatever. Um, and there'll be more, so I'll, <laughs> I'll send that too. Did you to Jim Yes. Oh, good. Yeah. Thank you. And a half. Oh, sorry.